Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Hey guys, and welcome to a different type of video. Today is just a quick short video on a showcase of something I've discovered. I don't, I haven't looked at anything online. I don't know if it's been found or not. And um, why there's not a tutorial today? Well, th I guess this is kind of a tutorial because I want to show something, but not not an actual tutorial on some of the stuff I want to show about. This is just something I built today. Um, there will be tutorials on these staircases, these hidden staircases, not all of them, just some. This is my favorite one since it has stairs that pop out. There's also this white one and this one which is singular. Um, and I just made some wave machine here. To some extent. Make them kind of laggy. But there's not going to be a tutorial today on one of those when there was, but there's not. I'm not going to now. Uh, there will be tomorrow, I promise. Anyway, I'll quickly show this off. So uh, I figured out with like zero to generate, you can make a sip a very simple piston V tape. <coughs> but the only problem is to stop it, you have to break a block in it or jam the piston and then block update it. But I was thinking something like, why don't I put another block in there? The problem is, the piston doesn't work. And because, there, no, here it is. So if I update the piston, it works, and then it stops. So I thought, if updating the pistons got it moving, if I set up a simple updater, which is just going to be that, that's set, that will start putting updates into it. If it is for all the sides not all the pistons because it took pulse generators and one more all right now yeah so we have block detect um updates on each of the pistons this in one block and nothing happens and if you place it on the rows that are coming in place another block get it faster do it one more time get the fast tech if you put another block in it jams. This is the fast and I'm pretty sure it's quite a fast piston free tape. The only way you can stop it is by breaking blocks in it. Um, this is a regular piston free tape that's zero tick. I'm pretty sure this is slower. This is the fastest I can get going. So I'm pretty sure it's slower than this thing. So if anyone else can find a faster version, then um, please let me know. I want to see a faster version of this. But this is the fastest I can find. This is the fastest piston video I've ever seen. It is so fast, almost smooth and long. It's a weird ass sound. The reason this block, this sandstone is here is just so I can see the piston feet tape moving properly. Because if I do that and then yeah, it doesn't show how fast it moves. Really well. If you hit actually one, but you can If you listen very carefully, you hear the piston but actually you can see it. The piston's fired twice. And then they stop for like a second. And then you go. If you can put one more in there, the next one comes to the wall. It's gonna go a bit further away, so there's no sound there. Anyway, I think that's the fastest fist and feet tape possible. And that's it's literally just. It is just a zero tick generator, which is a piston. It's basically a smart piston, but then it goes up into another piston on top, which gives it, which gives it an update, which creates a zero tick pulse with some 
with some updaters next to these pistons, these bottom ones, so then they'll update whenever the block gets in them so they don't jam. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this um, pretty short video. There will be a proper tutorial video out tomorrow on these pistons, one of these things. I don't know what I'll choose. I think I'll do one video on this one. Oh. On this one, and this one, but when I do this one, I'll do this one as well because they're basically the exact same design, but you flip it. There's literally no other differences. See, it's like it's the exact clone of itself. And just for reference, these are four by four by five, and it's four by four by eight. Because if you double it, then it's going to be double. I'll see if I can make a smaller version, but this is the smallest I can make so far. The only reason it's five is because I have to get power into here, and the best way I found it is to get power from here into a piston which updates this piston, which pushes a cauldron up into that comparator. Anyway, videos on that and these two will be up. This one, no, because this is my old one of those. It's a bit bigger. I think it's how big is it? Five by five by four. So it's a bit bigger. Anyway, that is Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you hopefully in the video tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. I also have a Discord now. I forgot to I pretty much forgot to mention in any other videos. I have a Discord and it is in the link area with my Twitter for the YouTube account of this my YouTube channel and the Instagram for this Instagram account uh, Instagram oh my god for this YouTube channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video though. I uh, hope you like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment if you do see the faster piston feed because I I don't get the how that's getting there. Is it me that always up there's a block that keeps appearing under there? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you find a piss of faster piston V date, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.